Hello everybody, this is Old Soldier. This is a model number one Randall knife. And this episode is going to be about the story about this particular Randall number one. Now, the Randall knife in general are a custom knife and they are awesome. And they have built a reputation by being used by troops since World War II. And they were specifically since Vietnam um, they've been used or carried by special forces troops and the old rumor was that uh, you could spot the special forces trooper by the Rolex on his wrist the random knife on his hip the divorce paper in his pockets and the star, star sapphire ring on his finger well I guess I'm not a hundred percent SF Trooper then, because I just got two out of the four. Luckily, I'm not divorced. My wife hasn't kicked me to the curb just yet. And uh, I've never been much for wings, star sapphire, or, or any other kind. But be that as it may, these are a quality knife. Now, you can tell that this thing has not seen a lot of wear on it. And those of you who watch the channel, they know that I carried Al Mar. And they're another knife, maybe not quite as popular or quite as well known. But this is what I carried for years in my web gears in Al Almar Sir 6. And Almar was an SF trooper. And he was a designer for Gerber. And But this knife, you can see the wear and tear on the sheath and the knife. Um, you can tell that this has been used. Because for 14 years in Airborne Infantry and Special Forces, I had this either on my LBE or my salt vest. And you can tell it's used. And you compare that with that sheath, it doesn't have near the wear and tear. And that's because I've only had it for a couple years. But let's start this story. So, I left the military for other employment. And uh, I had a nephew, Luke who had listened to too many of my war stories and he decided that he was going to join the military too. And I am Ranger qualified. I'm a graduate of Ranger school, but I was never in a Ranger battalion. And those of you who have been in the military, you know the two things are quite different. But anyway, he enlisted in the military and he went to the recruiter's office and said, I want to be a Ranger. And they said, hey, have I got a deal for you. So he enlisted to be in a Ranger Battalion. And uh, this is late 90s. So off he goes. He goes to then Fort Benning, now Fort Moore. And he goes to one station unit training for infantry. Goes to jump school. And uh, then goes to what was then, it's no longer in place, but it was RIP, Ranger Indoctrination Program. And... Uh, he makes it through, and he gets assigned to one of the Ranger Battalions. So, being the good uncle that I am, I call up Randall Knives in Orlando, Florida, and I order my nephew one of these so he can have some good quality cutlery should uh, he need it. And he was in a position that he was going to need it. So, anyway, I call up Randall Knives, and they say, Great! Um... It's going to be probably a 18 month or so back order. And I say, hey, um, I'm getting this for my nephew. He's just completed RIP and he's going to one of the Ranger Battalions. And Randall Knives, being Randall Knives, said, oh, we'll get it to him in three weeks. So they did. They're a quality company. Can't say enough for them. So I was surprised. He was pleased. And I was sure when he was probably a private, um, he. They probably didn't allow him to carry it too much, or people were envious of it, but he had it. And then later on, he goes to Ranger School, he becomes Ranger Qualified, he becomes an NCO, and, uh, you know, carries it on his gear, and the war starts. So he is in, 9-11 comes, and he, are, he's, he's in it. He's in the thick of it. And uh, two deployments in Afghanistan, one in Iraq to include a combat jump on H3 during the invasion of Iraq. And uh, he ends up staying in the military, and he becomes a Blackhawk pilot, becomes a medevac pilot, and does two more tours. 
the military. So uh, he has a, he has a successful career, career in the military in the United States Army. Well, time goes on. Unfortunately, during one of those employments, deployments, um, don't know it was stolen. This his knife was that I had bought from was stolen, and by what he believes to be a very troubled young man, he, he things didn't turn out very well for him. But anyway, it, it had been stolen. So I progress in years, and I end up retiring. I was a little bit sad to hear that my nephew's Randall had been stolen, but, you know, things do happen. Well, anyway, I go to visit my nephew, and he comes out, and he has two number one Randalls, this being one. And uh, he got replaced his one for himself, and he orders one for me. Because you know, I he he knows that I have great respect and love these things too. These are a timeless classic. They are excellent, excellent field life. And uh, basically, when he called up Randall, he told him the story, or he ordered two knives, and they told him the same thing. Hey, uh, eighteen months or so, maybe two years, back order. And he goes, well, he told him the story, and he said that uh, this is a retirement gift. And Randall knives, being Randall knives, said, hey, we'll. Uh, We'll have it out to you in about, oh, three weeks. So he surprised me with it, and I was about dropped dead of shock. And this thing hasn't been used much yet, but believe me, there are going to be some adventures in my retirement. I'm going to carry this thing because these things are working art, and uh, I've been blessed, you know, that uh, I've been blessed with uh, my career, my family, my friends. Um, but, uh, you know, Luke, I'm glad you came home safe. I was sweating it the whole time, every deployment you made. But, uh, he's back safe. And, uh, it's kind of a cool story. Now, uh, some of you, those of you watch the channel, if you've never watched the channel, I like knives, I do some knife reviews. Uh, if you want a really, a dedicated knife review channel, Isaac's Knives and Knowledge and Legion Tactical are my favorites. Those guys, Grugs and Isaac, hats off to you. And Isaac... He occasionally he does stories about knives. This is probably be my only one, and it's kind of a personal one. But I thought it was a cool story, and thought people might be interested. So anyway, that is the story of this model number one random life. Anyway, kind of a cool story. I liked it. Um, I'd be interested how many people out there like Randall knives, or if they thought this was BS, or if they liked the story. But uh, anyway, for whatever you think, put it in the comments. And uh, that's it for this week. This is Old Soldier out.